astronomers are continuing to monitor a recently discovered cosmic object, likely a comet from beyond our solar system. Named 3 I Atlas, it was first detected on July 1st, initially expected to make a spectacular but harmless pass. New calculations from Harvard's Obvious Loeb's team and independent experts at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have uncovered something remarkable. This isn't just an ordinary rock and appears to be heading toward the inner solar system. Its trajectory is unusually well aligned with the planets. And now data shows it may be on course to collide with Mars. 3i Atlas is traveling faster than any interstellar object humanity has ever tracked. Currently moving at nearly 87 kilometers per second relative to the sun. That's the equivalent of covering the distance from Earth to the moon in less than 80 minutes. Every hour, gravitational influences from the sun, Jupiter, and Mars alter its path by microscopic amounts, which can lead to significant deviations over tens of millions of kilometers. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter recently confirmed that its coma, the glowing halo surrounding it, has doubled in brightness since August. With unusual high-energy ultraviolet spikes uncharacteristic of typical comet behavior, its CO2 outgassing rate is far beyond that of any known solar system comet. Instead of becoming more stable as it approaches the Sun, 3 I Atlas seems to be actively maneuvering, accelerating, and changing course by releasing controlled plumes of gas. The latest trajectory models now predict it will pass within 1.95 million kilometers of Mars on September 26, 2025, an extremely close approach in astronomical terms. At that distance, Mars' gravitational pull could noticeably influence its motion. Scientists believe it could be a fragment of a planet from another star system. A worrying calculation shows that just 10 kilometers per second of extra velocity could alter its course enough to cause a direct impact within weeks. Such velocity changes are comparable to only a fraction of the thrust used by SpaceX's Starship to launch from Earth, and these changes appear to be happening now. Hidden within its tail, observations from the Gemini South Telescope in Chile revealed a phenomenon unlike anything seen before, instead of random. Chaotic jets of gas. Its tail emits synchronized gas pulses every 17 minutes, maintaining perfect timing over several days. These pulses generate slight accelerations precisely aligned with Mars' orbital plane. In natural comets, sunlight-triggered eruptions are irregular. A metronome-like rhythm strongly suggests an artificial mechanism similar to spacecraft thrusters. If this timing continues, by September 19th the comet could close the margin to under 50. 000 km, closer than some of Mars' moons, a single significant outburst at that point might shift it onto a collision course, with a mass estimated at 10 billion tons, composed of highly irradiated ice and dust surrounding a likely metallic core about 400 meters wide. A direct impact on Mars would unleash energy equivalent to 2 million megatons of TNT, thousands of times greater than the largest nuclear explosion in Earth's history. The resulting crater could be 60 kilometers wide and 5 kilometers deep, ejecting debris into Mars' orbit and possibly sending material into interplanetary space. Such an event would threaten numerous active and planned missions on Mars, including the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and Perseverance rover, disrupting decades of research, communication networks, climate studies, and searches for signs of life could be severely compromised. Internal NASA documents suggest preparations are already in progress. With mission teams using the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter as a forward radar to track 3i Atlas's incoming path, Goldstone's high-gain antennas are being used to bounce radar signals off its core. And early classified results reportedly show strong metallic echoes instead of the softer returns typical for icy bodies. If accurate, these findings point to a core containing alloys not naturally found in deep space implying an artificial structure encased in a shell of sacrificial ice. Professor Abby Lowe and his student Adam Hibbard, who have long supported a technological origin theory, have published a paper proposing that 3i Atlas could be a deliberately directed probe launched by an advanced civilization. Instead of merely passing through our solar system, it might intentionally graze Mars to deploy exploration devices or crash to release detectable substances from subsurface caches. They suggest its gas pulses represent intentional steering, 
using sublimated exhaust to navigate through our planetary neighborhood, just like a spacecraft using reaction thrusters. The recent developments appear to confirm the most unsettling suspicions. The European Space Agency's Mars Express mission has captured images of three small, reflective objects in high orbit above Mars, arranged in a triangular formation, initially dismissed as cosmic ray artifacts. These objects were later confirmed to appear in the exact same positions over three consecutive orbits. Some scientists now speculate whether these could be reconnaissance probes released by 3i Atlas during an earlier approach. Professor Lowe has urged NASA to compare these sightings with archived Mars reconnaissance orbiter data to determine if similar metallic fragments are already present on the Martian surface. Discovering such objects would represent the first recorded evidence of interstellar technology, far surpassing the significance of Martian meteorites found on Earth. The timeline itself is increasingly alarming. On September 26, 2025, 3 I Atlas will cross Mars' orbital path. The period between September 19th and 30th is considered critical for any final trajectory adjustments through its time gas outbursts. Throughout this interval, its relative speed to Mars will reach approximately 57 kilometers per second. At that velocity, even a grazing impact could vaporize cubic kilometers of Martian rock, launching massive amounts of dust into space. Skeptics argue that no natural comet could alter its trajectory by 10 kilometers per second merely through sublimation. Such a change would require over 10 billion joules of concentrated energy, far exceeding any known cometary event. Yet current data implies exactly that. This immense energy discrepancy forms the core of Lowe's argument. If 3i Atlas is indeed performing such course corrections, then an unknown power source must be driving it. The possibilities range from fusion to antimatter-based systems buried beneath layers of ice, releasing superheated gas in controlled bursts for propulsion. Meanwhile, amateur astronomers worldwide are contributing fresh images of the comet, helping to build an unprecedented record. In several of these images, the comet's tail appears to split into three slender, luminous streams glowing green with an eerie, auroral shimmer flickering in perfect synchronization with the gas pulse intervals. Under long exposure, these green rays seem to point directly toward Mars, almost as if outlining a guided pathway across space. Despite Mars being millions of kilometers from Earth, a large-scale collision there could propel debris into space on courses that might, over time, reach our planet. Certain simulations even suggest that some fragments could arrive near Earth within a decade. If those fragments contain synthetic microbes or self-replicating nanotechnology, they might contaminate not only Mars, but the entire inner solar system. In response to these concerns, the European Space Agency, Roscosmos, CNSA, and JAXA have quietly formed emergency committees. Although no official explanation has been released, Sources indicate these are planetary defense groups. For the first time, scientists are seriously debating whether humanity should attempt to intercept or destroy an interstellar object before it impacts another planet. The central mystery persists, who or what is guiding 3 I Atlas? Could it be an ancient spacecraft from a civilization millions of years ahead of us, now functioning on autopilot? Or is it an intentional probe designed to test our awareness and reaction? The evidence increasingly contradicts the assumption of a natural comet. Its movement patterns and pulses more closely resemble those of a controlled craft than an inert celestial body. By mid-September, major observatories, including Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, will focus on 3i Atlas to observe its continuing gas bursts, should it close the final margin of orbital distance. Mars could experience an impact unmatched since the colossal bombardments over 4 billion years ago. For scientists, this represents an unprecedented research opportunity. For the rest of humanity, it could be the slow unfolding of a cosmic disaster. As that moment approaches, official communication remains subdued. NASA releases COM, carefully worded updates. The ESA shares standard imagery beneath the surface. However, the implications are momentous. A collision involving 3i Atlas could redefine our understanding of life and intelligence in the universe. So this September, when you look toward Mars, remember that above its red surface, an interstellar object is fine-tuning its trajectory.
emitting green pulses of gas as it adjusts its path meter by meter. Maybe it's a random process of nature, or maybe it isn't. If deep within that frozen core lies a hidden engine guiding it deliberately toward the planet, then the first undeniable evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence may not come through radio waves, but through a blazing green impact visible across the night sky, proving once and for all that humanity is not alone. And answers, whatever they may be, are coming soon.